Bimbi is. Right. Um, I, I had to bring a bit of food myself, but I always sit and watch them eat it. Yeah, well, that's, that's one of the, the, the beauties of coming out in the countryside, yeah? Yeah, but I mean, there's wood nut hatches and tree creepers, all sorts of wonderful things. But um, squirrels are, are nice creatures, and but people just look at them as vermin with a big grey squirrel. Well, I mean, it's just that they're trying, because there are red squirrels in yeah. this area, they're trying to keep the Balance it. out. Yeah. Just so that this corridor, so that the red squirrels can, can breed and, and get more in numbers. Yeah, I mean, I have no objection to the grey ones in the cities and where there aren't red squirrel populations, yeah. no. Well, I hope it takes off anyway, because I'm an animal lover. I love to, I love to yes. see all animals, um, yeah. you know, bloom. Yeah, well, nice speaking. But enjoy the rest of your day. Come on, away. Come on, yeah. Come on, son. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Right, back past this brick wall thing. I don't know what the hell this has been. Right, so there's that bridge where you can go across and get on the main road to walk down the road if you want to. Right, come on, here, down here, come on, that way, down here. Good boy. But uh, <laughs> the woman says her Jack Russell's a little shit. But even, I don't I don't think even if it went for him and started snacking on him, I don't think he's, um, he's just not an aggressive dog, luckily. Because obviously the size of him, you just make mincemeat of a little dog like that. You just bite it by the neck and just... Um, swinging backwards and forwards, violently, slap his neck. But he's not a fighter. Thankfully, that's one uh, good thing about it. I haven't got to worry about that just yet. But, I mean, if a dog goes for him and starts biting into him, he's got to defend himself, that's as simple as that. He's all right, he's just a big puppy. He's all right, he's just a big puppy. He'll want to say hello to your dog. <laughs> He'll just want to say hello. All right. But I'm just going to keep on. Uh, he's used to that as well. But uh, he, he's got a tendency to, to lunge because he's a puppy. He just, <laughs> that's all right, he's got to, he's got to be socialized. So he's so fast when dogs growl up and go to slap him, he just turns his head dead quick. But he's not aggressive, he won't fight back. No, Max is not aggressive. Right. Apart Get down! From, apart from verbally, he's never right. nipped anybody or anything. <laughs> hey. He just, he likes to hey. mouth off a bit. He's powerful. Don't let him jump up here, man, because no. he's... What's he called? Bear. Get down! Get down! You make your job, <laughs> job jealous, mind. Uh, oh, I'd rather pull him away, sweetheart. I thought if I was friendly with him, he might learn it's not yeah. an enemy, you know? Yeah, well, just because he was jumping up here as well, he's doing his job defending you. Come on, that way. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just a big, daft, soft lump. He's only just coming up to nine month old, and he's still growing. <laughs> but he's too what powerful. He? He's an American XL bully. But so do you have to have a special license or something now? Well, the, 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 the government's always trying to bring in licenses with all dogs. They've all, they, they just try and frighten you. So no, people won't have dogs or turn dog lovers against each other when they start arguing about, you know, you should have that dog on a, a muzzle and you should do this and you should do that and should put them all down, you know, these kind of people. Hi. Well, I, I have an argument with other dog owners, which is they don't take responsibility. Exactly, they don't train them. Properly. Yeah, exactly. That's my big but, but he's got a wonderful... I don't care what breed it is, if it's trained properly, I'm happy. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to socialise him with all dogs, Good. even though they snack at him, you know? Yes, it's, no, it's So he doesn't, he doesn't grow up to be a, a you know, an aggressive dog, which he's not. Good. So well, you don't seem to be an aggressive man, so I think he's <laughs> going to be in good hands. Good. <laughs> right. Enjoy the rest of your day anyway. Come on, son. Oh, wait, come on, we're going back to the car now. Hey, come on. Come on, going back to the car now. Right, it's just getting to that time now where loads and loads of people are coming out. So I'm just going to come across more and more dog walkers. So, well, this is where the, the wall's being built up to eight foot high for to take the powerful water going around the bend here. Painting that back wall. Come on, that way. Good boy. Come on, that way. Come on. 
So that little dog was really having a go at him and he still didn't retaliate, so it just shows you he's not going to be an aggressive fighter. Thank God for that. Hey, hey. Right, so this area is completely swamped with water where it's been running down there, look. There's loads of water running down the cliffside. And there's loads and loads of rooks and crows' nests up there in the, in the rocks. That's why you constantly hear them um, flying off the rocks there. And corn, the noise they make. Hey, hey! Right, come here, see if I can get away with letting you off for the last half a mile or so. Come here, come here, come here. Right, go on, go on. But it's all um, swamp here as well, it's all dirty water. Come here, come here. Go on, go on. Good boy. Right, so back down to this kiss me gate, go through, and then go back past the um, the old brickworks, which I can see the chimney there now, top left. And then I'll go back a different way and I'll show you how I get back to the car via uh, Oakwell Terrace houses where the path takes along and along the back of them. And then I'll just walk back down the back lane and back to the car. Good boy, it's a good boy. Good boy, son, good. Look at the colour of his legs, son. Oh, he's going to be monkey getting in the car. Good boy, son, good boy. But, I mean, because he's uh, had his freedom off the leader, he can go and um, go to the toilet when he needs to and do his business without worrying. And that's exactly what he's done. He's been a good boy in that sense. Right, so there's the bridge straight ahead that goes across into the, for the access to the brickworks, which is just here, look. And there's somebody living in the caravan in the grounds here, because you can see smoke coming out the, the wood burner chimney. Right. Hi, right, son. Come on in. Good boy. Come on, we're going now. Come on, we're going now. How are you? Come on. How are you? Come on. How are you? Good boy, son. How are you? Come on, we're going now. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Right, come on. Yeah. How are you? Come on. Good boy. Hey, right, come on. Yeah. Right, so past the first of two bridges. This is the private uh, private access bridge into the brickworks. And the first one's the green metal um, main bridge for to get in the, the lot of um, yard pens. Right, so once again, there's the wooden marker post saying Halt Whistle Burn Footpath and Caulfields, one and three quarter miles. Right, come on, oh, good boy. Come here, come here, come here. Right, so instead of turning right to go up to the Willia Road car park, I'm just going to go straight ahead and just follow the path right the way along. It's just like a farm track. It gets a bit muddy and shitty further along. And then you pass that metal, white uh, metal bridge that I passed earlier on coming this way.
Right, so here's a lot of um, yard on the left hand side where this main road bridge takes you across into. I don't know who owns it or what kind of yard it is, but it's just a lot of, as you can see, there's tractors and that in the back and um, chopped wood in big containers there. So it's just like a storage lock up yard, but there's no um, board on it to see who, who it belongs to, you know, whether it be council or uh, private or wherever, or just a company name. Right, come here, oh, come on. Right, so that's that, that's where you come all the way to Willier Road, and it brings you directly to this bridge. But I'm just going to go along this path here now because there'll be hardly anybody walking along this path. So I'll be able to let him off and have a quick wee um, without worrying too much about bumping into anybody. Right, come here, son. Come here. Come here. I'll have a quick wee before I jump back in the car and start driving home. Right, come on. Right, so as you can see, it's a bit muddy clarty like because it's just like a, a farmer's access track to a metal gate further along where it goes into the field and goes up the hill but it's a quiet way to go back towards the car Right, so there's the football field there, look. There's people playing football on the ground there now. Youngsters. Just using the grounds. Have a bit of practice. Right. His, his leader bounces off everything. So I've got to put it in, in my pocket. So I hear click, 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 bounce off the bloody camera. And then it catches up on the spikes on the collar in my pocket. Right, so this is the bit where you can go down the path and go down at that metal uh, bridge with the metal handrails down there, look. Or you can just continue along the track, which I'm going to do. Because like I say, this is the quiet end where nobody comes along. And you can see why, because it's just clotted money. And that's where the farmers come along here and go up there. And there's the horses. Right. Right, let me see. Right there, right. I just wanted to run straight past that gate so he doesn't see the horses. Come on, son. Come on. Hi. Here. Yeah. Come on. Hi. Come on. Here. Yeah. Hi. Come on. Come on. Here. Yeah. Hi. Come on. Hi. Here. Yeah. Hi. Come on. Hi. Good boy, son. Good boy. Good boy. So he's going to get even more dirty now. What? walking through this mud. But there's the cottages straight ahead where it takes you along the back of them. And I'll turn right and go down the back lane and I'm back of the car. So I think what I'll do is I'll go, I'll take them to the gate where you can go down the steps to the edge of the water, what the water board used, and see if I can get them to go in and plodge and wash some of the shit off his bloody paws. 
Right, so that's that big house with the granny cottage on the side of it, uh, where the electrical charger and thing is for the cars. That's what I walked past this morning after crossing the bridge through the little car park. Right, I'll have to have a wee here now before I get in the build up area. Yeah, son, here, yeah, 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 yeah. Come here. I'll be glad just to get him back in the car and just lock up and start driving back home. Because I'm me arms, I'm, I'm knackered. It's it's like like I say, it's, I feel like I've done a workout in the gym. That's just taking him for a walk. Because I'm trying to walk fast to get him back on the leader. I'm holding him back with me weak arm all the time, so I'm trying to hook his leader back on. Quite a nice big property down there now, like we've got their own little steps down in the water's edge and all at the from the back door there. So I wonder I wonder if it's a bed and breakfast or something. But people definitely stay there in the, the granny cottage which is attached to it. Yeah son, yeah, 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 come here, come on, yeah. How are you? Come on, how are you? Come on. Right. I think I'll probably bottom his leader just to be on the safe side. How are you? How are you, son? Come on, yeah, how are you? How are you? Oh, it's bloody stuck on this again. Oh, getting. Oh, that's. Good boy, son, good boy. Hey, lovely lad. He's a good boy, son. Watch a pullover. I've aptly named me bloody um, web page. After where I go through with walking you, watch a pullover. Right. Now I'll put that back in my pocket. Right, no more, he's had enough walk off the lead now, so it's back to the car. Get it to jump in the boot and that's it. Right, come on son, come on, we're going back now. Good boy. Come on. Right, so this is the quiet end of the, the burn. Obviously the dogs can bark and sense him. Very smell. But he was enjoying himself running about with that little um, female um, Labrador butt. He just, in the end, sort of get too bloody horny, hot under the collars of, hey, and uh, I couldn't hold him back. Right, so you just drop down here and it go along past the cottage, just turn right in it and drop down the back lane. And I'm back at the car. More bird feeders on that telegraph pole there on the right. right. Nice solid shed, this thing. Where I built this one. Built the last. And it's well approved. Lovely. Nice thick solid um, shed. And a nice strong door on it and all. Right down and along past the back of the cottages. Like I say, this is Oakwell Terrace where I've pointed out. Coming from, away from the car to come along this way. So you could go along this way and go along to the brickworks via the back of the cottage here. But when I came up here this morning, the first thing was pit black, I couldn't see. So I didn't want to risk it tripping over. Who's that, Tom? Who's that? Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Pour water jug in there. Come on. <laughs> 